What's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome to a very special episode of the Mystery Box Monday series. This is a Mystery Trade Box Monday featuring cars sent to me from Belgium from Chasing Diecast Cars at YouTube. Make sure you go and check out his content. He has actually got an extremely good channel there. This is 5 kilograms or 4.7 something, 4 point something kilograms and uh, I am very, 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 very excited to open this. It's been in my possession for a week now, and I've been sitting there looking at it, just waiting for an opportunity to open it. Even though I could have made this into a episode of its own, I thought that it would be better to have it as a mystery box. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to raise the camera a little bit. Just give me one second. Sorry about the wobbliness. All right, you can see, just written there, 5.00. I have absolutely no idea what's in this box, so trusty blunt knife. The other one scared me too much last week. I have no idea what's in this box. All I said was I like the European branded cars because they are very, expensive here in Australia, if you could even find them. Um, a lot of cars that he showcases on his channel are Europe only vehicles. He tra travels all across Europe trying to find awesome cars to showcase. Always has a lot of very good information and I have I have great expectations for this. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for this. I'm going to have to do something about this. Maybe I'll raise the camera a little bit more. Let's keep going. I don't know if it will go any further than that. All right. Hopefully I'll have enough room. Got some camera everywhere. Okay. Oh, so excited. It's even got some brilliant packaging. That's a great job of packaging there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Uh, let me just throw this rubbish away. Oh, my God. What do we have? Oh, awesome. I just showcased one of these on my 10 car character challenge. It, would, it was my last video if you wanted to go check that out. I do not have this one. This is the blue card version. I only have the white card version of this car. Oh, that is so cool. That is really, really cool. I really actually did need this one. And I love the uh, original Star Wars characters mainly. I like how he keeps the price tags. You got yourself a really good bargain there. Always the way. Oh, that's awesome. There's the other cars that are in this series. Oh wow, cool, thanks. That's that's a really good addition to my Star Wars collection. Thank you. Oh, a Johnny Lightning, a Corvette Johnny Lightning. Oh wow, well, you know that this is never ever gonna be opened. I hope you don't mind that. Oh wow. Oh, I probably could open it if I'm very careful. And if you can read there. Oh, that's so nice. Look at those wheels. Oh, that's that's just stunning. It's got an opening opening bonnet there. Or hood. Nice detail on the back there. That's really nice. That is very, very, very nice. Awesome. Oh my god. Look at this. This. Oh my god. I, I, I'm, I'm completely speechless. Oh. Now this is really nice. Oh, you got your Porsche on the back there. That's nice. Got 918 Spider. 
details. Oh, that's really cool. And I like the flatbed trucks. That's always one of the ones which I always try and find. And you have the uh, the man or the MAN cab over engine. Let's see if we can see the back. MAN T G S. That's really nice. Nice Porsche. I love that. That's really nice. That will be getting displayed. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, what do I go for? What do I go for? Ah. Uh, this one. We'll, we'll stay with the top layer. Audi S5. Ooh, that's nice. Opening doors and everything. Those wheels look like the real wheels on the car. That's cool. S5. Lensed headlights. Really nice. Very good choice. Very, very good choice. Place that down there. Honda Civic Type R. Now that's nice. There's a little detail there. A the little postie that you get with it. Those wheels look really cool too. Oh man. That's some beautiful detail on this one. Oh nice. That is absolutely awesome. That's really, really cool. Really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room down here to display everything. Uh we will go for I'll go for this one. No, it's stuck in there. We'll go for this one. Oh, yes! A beetle! One of the original beetles. Look at those wheels, too. From the Vintage series. Oh, that's cool. The opening frunk. That's nice. I'm going to have to open this one, I think. Stay tuned for a future Mystery Box Monday episode where this will miraculously appear. Because I'm definitely going to open that. That's just cool. Alright, what do we got? Oh, cool. Another car from the Gran Turismo series. The Mercedes-Benz AMG. Vision Gran Turismo. Oh, that's awesome. It's kind of like a futuristic AMG. Futuristic SLR, or whatever they call them. Oh, that's nice kind of has a uh, Aston Martin style to it a little bit but that's really cool all right let's look at this one I really want to see this oh yeah oh that's nice good your tires Look at the detail on that engine work there. That, that's really, really well made. Oh, I love that. I love the paint job on this. That candy apple red with the yellow and black striping on the side. Nice. This is a matchbox. Thirty-three Ford Coupe. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. That is going to go on display right after I make my video. I'm going to put this right next to my computer where all my special cars end up. Oh, wow. Wow. This is going to be a long video, guys. I hope you guys are in for a long, a long video. All right, I'm just going to go through the couple of majorettes here. Ah, oh, yes, another Gran Turismo car from the set. The Peugeot. I haven't seen this one. Oh, that's cool. Look at the lights on that. That's nice. Great detail on this one, too. That's new. such a nice looking car. Awesome. 
Uh, there's another major right here, which I can see it's a single car. Oh, what? The Hypermobile Excess I. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's so cool. There's the card art for it there. Okay. Where's the blunt knife? Trusty blunt knife. Don't stab me now. Don't need any blood on these. Just very carefully sliding the knife around the plastic so that I don't cut into the car or my hand. Oh yeah. That's so cool. The size of the windows on here. That's a really nice casting, that. I've not seen one of these in Australia, ever. Like, I've seen a few camper vans or uh, caravan sort of things in the, car in the stores and stuff like that, but never seen this. Can we do it? Come on. I don't want to break it, so I've got to go slow. There we go. Sorry, I don't have the best lighting to get into there, but opening feature. That's awesome. I love that. That's really cool. There's the base for anybody that wants to read it. That's cool. All right, where do we want to go now? We'll go for this one right here. I can see something super awesome in this packet right here. So I'm going to save that for a little bit. But Norev. Norevs are one of the cars that we cannot get in Australia. I have not seen them in any store at all. In all of Australia that I've been to. And I've been to quite a bit of it. Never seen a Norev. That's cool. Is this one the, uh, it's not the cactus model, is it? What do they call it? Oh, it is the C4 cactus. Yeah. I laughed, I laughed so hard when I very first saw one of the, these and it's called a cactus. Because in, in Australia, if, if, something's, if something's been called cactus, it means that it's either broken or just terrible. <laughs> so, that's awesome. That's really nice. My very first Norev in my collection. And, oh, Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, we'll just start with these three first. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Spaghetti! Oh my god! Dude, those are so, so nice. Oh, I gotta open one. I gotta open one. Oh man, thank you so much. That is super cool. Absolutely one of the coolest cars in my collection. I, this is my first, well these three are my first Bugattis in my entire collection. And to have three different examples, like this one's the newer one, this is the Chiron, I, I think it's called. Yep, the Chiron. Oh, it's got all the detail on the base and everything. That's awesome. Siku uh, tend to be a, an expensive brand here in Australia. So in Australia, this probably would have been about $10 for this car. The uh, premium ones are always more expensive. But this one here, with the little grey little gray corner, are always a little bit more expensive. I think the green ones are the cheaper ones. But as you can see... They do have different colours. 
some more examples but that is that's so cool that is really cool I'm going to put that on display and then up next we have got the Bugatti Veyron in blue and silver and red and white and because they're Sikus they're reclosable which is always a great great thing now you also get a little poster with this one show you what other cards that you're missing I'm just trying to do this really quickly so you can see that they're both the same car I'm going to showcase this one here so you can see all the detail in it looks like it's got eyeballs <laughs> nicely detailed interior nice detail all over I have to say that that's very nice Oh, these also have rubber tires just in case you in case you were wondering these are rubber tires Oop. beautiful thank you thank you thank you so much all right up next we have got some more Sikus the Audi A4 Cabrio once again it's another premium version with your rubber tires All your detail on the back, you've even got a license plate. Beautiful. So nice. I can't I can't thank you enough for these. These are just stunning. You've got a BMW also. BMW X6 M. That's nice. I'm gonna open this one up too. Well, this one has a tow hitch. Nice. You can tow a trailer. Wow. Love the colour. That blue is sparkly. Man, these Sikus have such great detail on them. Absolutely stunning. Like, this has got to be one of the best mystery boxes ever on this show. Stunning, absolutely awesome cars. Oh wow, there's more Sikus. Woo, Porsche 911. Oop, there we go, Turbo S. Let's get this one out. Oh, that's very nice. Nice blue, it's a little bit lighter than the last car. Great detail, lensed headlights. License plate with the serial number. I think it's the serial number on it. I'm not too sure. It's got some reference on the bottom. Nice interior. These doors open and close beautifully. So smooth. That's some quality workmanship there. You don't get this with Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Oh, that it's just lines up perfectly. Stunning. I'm going to be staying that a lot, I'm sure. Oh, where we go? All right, let's keep going with the Sikus. I can see a couple more. Ooh, a Weissman. I almost bought one of these the other week. Lucky I didn't. Wow. Love that. Love these classic style cars. Looks like something out of the 1920s. Or 20s or 30s. Just really cool. Really nice wheels on that. Absolutely awesome. Alright. Ooh. Porsche Carrera GT. In red. Oh, I'm going to have to open this one also. Got to open that. See the interior in there. Nicely, nicely done, detailed. 
I like how you can see the engine through the back there. That's really cool. Is that an opening feature? Or is that just my imagination? No, that's just my imagination. It looks like it was an opening feature, but it was just me imagining things. Nice detail on the back there too. If it will focus. Lensed rear tail lights. Really nice touch. Such a great looking car. Wow. Put that one over there. Alright, and another, another CQ. Oh, wow, I see some really, really, really nice cars coming up. Oh, I think you've gone well overboard on me. Oh, this is just so cool. Porsche 911 Turbo, turbo Cabrio. That's awesome. I can't keep opening every single one. I'm going to, we'll be here for like two hours if I take my time. All right, okay, I'm going to do it. Let's check out the Majorette three pack. Ooh, got a little, uh, what's that? A Renault or something like that, or Citroen, one of the two. Really nice Aston Martin right there. That's nice. And we have, I think that's possibly a Honda. I'm not sure. But these are easy to open. So you can quite quick, quite easily check these out. I thought it was a uh, little Fiat 500 first. What a cool colour. That's a great colour. It's a Twingo. The Renault Twingo. Proper steering wheel. Wow, you don't see that very often these days. A real steering wheel. That's cool. Very, very cool. I've got to check out this. Yeah, Aston Martin. Which model is this? The Vantage GT8? I thought it was a, said GT3, but it's no, GT8. But we have the uh, really nice looking tyres. Are these rubber tyres? No, they're plastic tyres, but they look really cool. Great silver and lime green paint job. That's cool. So fluorescent. Wow, that's that's a heavily detailed interior on that in this car. That's a lot of detail. That is that's really cool. That is super 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 cool. The last car in this pack, if I can get it out, I don't want to bend the wheels on it, got to be gentle, and it is a Toyota, Toyota Camry, that's nice, can't really see the, uh, the writing on the back there. really hard to see it when it's written in silver so we'll just look at the base Toyota Corolla Altus okay it's a Corolla ah this is the same one that same casting they used for the taxi I think I think that was the same one it was called that's really cool proper steering wheel in this one too great detail on that really cool that's a really really nice three pack I have to say, that is three really, really cool cars that I actually like all three of. You know how sometimes you buy a three pack or a five pack or any sort of a multi pack and they generally have some cars you don't want? Holy cow. I'm just looking into the box now. Holy cow. 
Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. There's there's so much left. This is there is just so so much left. Oh yes. Little Citroen. Little two C V. Sorry, not the right camera view. Oh that's nice. Oh cool. I love the colour. I love the little window boxes as well. There's all the stuff on the back there. Great. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. I'm not going to open this one, but that is definitely going to be put on display instantly. That is so nice. And we have something in some bubble wrap. Get, get the knife out and try and be gentle. I don't want to have it fly across the, the room. <laughs> Ooh, a Jeep. Ooh, but not just any Jeep, a nice Jeep. Oh, that's really cool. So I keep putting it out of the, the view because I'm looking over the top of the camera. Look at those wheels. Hell yeah. That's some great detail. Nice interior. like the roll cage and all. Proper wheel on the back. Tow hitch. Light details. Awesome. It's a Jeep Wrangler and it's a Siku. Man, Siku makes some really, really good castings. They do, they, they do a very good job. They don't cheap out by moulding the, the wheel into the bumper. That's great. That's really nice. That will, that will probably go with my Jurassic Park Jeeps. Put that down there. Oh. Oh. Now we're talking. It's a Renault Alpine, is it? Is that what it is? I hope my memory is correct. Is that there? Alpine Renault? Oh wow. I can feel that this one's been opened before, so we are definitely 100% going to take this out of the packet. Whoa. Let's get another quick look. 150th scale, Norev. Oh this is, I can't get it out. Oh, I'm gonna be super careful with this one. This is stunning. Wow. Wow. It's got the proper rally details on it. Lens headlights. So much detail. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful casting. I love those wheels. Those tyres look cool on there too. Such a cool shape. Like this era of cars and racing cars, there's just, there's no, no substitute for that era. We'll never get to those, those awesome looking cars again, unfortunately. That's, that's really, really, really nice. And I'm going to put this one Back into the packaging because I don't I don't want that one to get any kind of scratches or anything. That's really nice. So we'll put that back and we'll put that onto display in the box. I'll leave, I won't try and squish that in now. I'll leave that for later. Ooh, another Norov. You got a good deal again. That's very nice. Such great detail on these. Those wheels are like look absolutely identical to the real wheels. There's the back for you. I love that. That is so nice. Thank you. Man, my European car collection has just suddenly become awesome. I just oh my god. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh. 
yes. You've gone and done it. You've hit the jackpot for what I like. Wow. This is one of those cars that I had as a poster of as a kid. Always loved this style of style of Porsche. With a giant wing on the back. That is beautiful. And this is a Shuko, which are literally impossible to find in Australia unless you buy them off the internet. Give you a quick look at the sides and the back. Wow. And that colour as well. That kind of like burnt champagne kind of colour. Really nice. That is an instant displayer. I'm going to put that on display instantly. This is going to be a very, 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 very long episode. But that's okay. I'm going to actually, I'm going to make this a two-part episode. I'm going to show off just those those two cars there, and then we're going to put this into a two-part episode. And I still can't believe how cool these cars are. Porsche Boxster S, red interior, all the detail, just, just wow. Wow, 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 wow. I just don't know what to say. Look at the price that they normally charge. Almost 10 euro. Thank, thank goodness you got it cheap. Thank goodness you got that cheap. That's expensive for one of these in euros. That's beautiful. Oh my god. All these, these are just, these, every one of these ones in the window boxes are all going onto display right after I do this video. All right. Oh, spider. Yes. Well, I'm going to I'm going to be doing a review on all of these cars, I think. Because there's quite a few Shukos that I can see still here. So, I'm going to have to do a uh, an episode on each car that's been sent. Well, not so much each car, but each brand. So stay tuned over the next week or two as I will slowly be opening and showcasing these cars. I know that you're going to enjoy that because everybody likes to look at cool cars. Oh, wow. A Macan Turbo. Oh, wow. That's cool. Great detail. This one will definitely have to be opened. I'm going to have to open that one after. So, I think I'm going to call it the end of part one for the time being. Give you a... Ooh. No, 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 no. Two parts. Two parts. Don't worry. I will leave the link for the part two in the video description. So all you have to do is just literally click on the screen. I'll put it just here on the screen kind of there and you'll be able to find it so just click over to part two in about 10 seconds and I'll see you there I hope you enjoyed this because this is blowing my mind this is absolutely oh I gotta I gotta I gotta take this off the camera for a sec There's more stuff. There's like layers. There's another couple of layers worth of vehicles there. So, intermission. Go and grab yourselves a, a nice beverage, go to the bathroom, do what you need to do, and then come back and watch part two. It's on the screen right now. Click it. Bye.